let's take a quick look at how you can apply an eSIM profile to your Peplink router's internal eSIM. From the device level in InControl2, under the Settings menu and Device Tools, you will also have an option for eSIM activation. There you can scan your QR code, or like we'll do here, we'll input this manually. And here we have our code. Copy that over, submit. And this may take a few seconds while in control to pushes that profile down to that eSIM. Once the eSIM has been pushed successfully, we can go into the device. Use the remote web admin tool here and we can check the cellular details and you'll see we have a new bring your own eSIM option. We can turn off the others as we're not using them here and below further you'll see a new sliding scroll bar. In this instance I know we need to have data roaming on and a custom APN here. I'll enter those, save and apply. And shortly here, that will connect. Now we're connected and ready for a cellular failover using Peplink's eSIM.